Hi, I'm Sanya Jankar. I am the producer of the film uh, Get Happy and we are here at the Montreal film F World Film Festival representing uh, the film and having a world premiere. Hi, my name is Manoj. I'm the director of Get Happy. Get Happy is playing at the uh, Montreal World Film Festival. It's in the world focus. It's not part of the competition. Um, it's being played tomorrow and the uh, day after. Tell us about the film the story. I'll pass that on to Sanya. Um, well, the film is mainly about this uh, guy who perpetually has misfortune. So it's someone, you know, when we're having a bad day, um, it's a lot how we feel. He kind of feels that every single day of his life until he meets a girl who is this man, manic, man, manny pixie girl who is basically, um, you know, does yoga, believes in happiness, believes in being happy. And then it's, the film interestingly is not about how she turns his life over, it's about what happens after she's gone to his life and how he himself turns it over. So it's basically how he learns eventually to get happy. Um. Adding a knot with what uh, Sanya is saying, you know, we live in a time where we spend millions and millions on being happy. You know, actually, being happy is a billion dollar business. Just a couple of days back, I met a young girl who introduced a phrase which I think is becoming popular, which I haven't heard so far. It's called the quarter life crisis. In my days, it was the midlife crisis. Now we are talking about quarter life crisis. So, um, I think this movie is in the right point where, you know, so many schools of thought are there on being happy. What makes you happy? What makes you sad? These are emotions driven by many uh, things, many parameters which are external and internal. So as a director, I'm exploring two schools of thought, two schools of thought uh, being represented by two different friends. One school of thought is to be happy, you need to vent you cannot bottle it you know just take it out another school of thought is in order to be happy you need to be positive you know be positive remove negative influences in your life so the exploration for me is if we take any anything to an extreme so these school of, school of thoughts are being taken to extremes so when you take it to an extreme humor comedy automatically comes into play so that's the exploration that uh, we at least uh, I started to in this endeavor. Who uh, did you make this film for? What is the audience you're expecting uh, for the movie? Uh, if I have to brush it with a white <laughs> brush, it can be for anybody you know who talks about being happy and all that. But uh, from a business point of view, I would say it is uh, for a person in the 18 to 35 category, basically people who love romantic comedy. Uh, though uh, the caveat is it's not an out and out on your face uh, comedy it has bits of drama in it it has bits of uh, uh, philosophy in it so it's it's a person that I'm, it's a movie that I'm sure a lot of people would enjoy but by and large from a business point I think it would be uh, the genre that's being enjoyed by anybody who enjoys romantic comedies more, Sanya, women, uh, than, more women than men you think I think the demography today dictates that romantic comedies are being enjoyed more by women than by men, at least in that age category. I'll leave a note for Sanya too. I think um, I think one I think one reason why the, this this particular film is so unique and great to film festivals is that um, it's a common notion that most film festivals and even we've even observed it here pick, pick films that have a lot more. Um, artistic feel to it and artistic in the way they've been shot in the stylistic treatment in the subject matter uh, the trick with this film is that it's artistic only in its philosophy and not in its treatment it's entertaining it's as commercial as commercial can be um, it has all the fun moments it has all the comedy it has all the drama uh, and it's a fun loving romantic dramedy comedy that everyone can enjoy at the same time at its core is where the art part of it, I guess, comes up, which is why I think this is extremely suited uh, for film festivals. And one funny thing is that everyone around here who um, 
who is like who's meeting with us is wanting to go watch this movie and we are not we were surprised as to how many tickets we've sold is mainly because people are romantic comedy or any any sort of a comedy is a breather in a film festival which is filled with serious subject matter which is filled with um, learning a lesson having a message so I think that's why this film is very well fit for a film festival true and a good title too uh, where did you shoot we shot uh, we shot in New York City um, with an indie crew an indie cast uh, 18 days of production in the in January of last year um, when it was extremely cold, one of the worst thunderstorms and winters in the city. Um, but we pulled it through and we got happy after the production was done. Uh, what will make you happy, Manoj, next? What's your next movie project? The next one is a action thriller. Um, we are writing the uh, spec, the treatment for it. Right now, uh, what would make me happy is to get the script done, make a great script. So that would be my uh, immediate uh, objective. Okay, good luck with the work on that and see you on the festival circuit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.